Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again. So today's video request is how to use Canva to make a job announcement. All right, let's get right on to it. The first thing that we're going to do is of course to, oh, by the way, depending on the type of job ad you're trying to create, you, you might have a desired dimension that you'd like to use. So in order to create a template with your specific dimensions, you can go to custom size and input your desired width, desired height, and desired unit over here. Once you do that, this will become clickable. So click on it and it'll route you to the main editing page. As for me, I don't have a specific dimension that I'd like to use, so I'm just going to look for some templates directly. So I'm going to type in job ad on the search bar, and I'm going to click on see all. So this is the templates page. So yeah, in case you'd like to choose a specific template, you can do so. As for me, I'd like to go with a simple one, so perhaps this would be okay. And I'm going to click on customize this template. Okay, so this is the main editing page. This is where we're going to do all of the editing. And in case you don't really like the template that you chose earlier and decide to, that you maybe want to change it, you can scroll down and look for some templates. So let's say, for example, job ad, and you'll find them over here. This one looks really nice as well, as well as this one. This looks very simple, yet very nice. So feel free to choose one that you'd like to use for your job ad. I'm just going to go back and let's try to see if there are some things that I'd like to use instead of these. Perhaps I'm going to go with this one because I think I like it. I'm going to close this one. But in case you'd like to get to those templates again, you can go, you can find them under the design category. Okay, let's get started. So you can actually just edit the job ad however you want. You can start designing wherever you want to start. You can start with your own photo or you can start with the description or the text or the title or even the background image. So as for me, I'm going to start with a photo. So in, if you, in case you have your own photo that you'd like to use, go to the upload section and yeah, if you'll be able to find your photos over here. But if you haven't uploaded your photos yet, then click on upload files. I don't have any photos, unfortunately, just a couple of these pictures that, that I had an AI create for me, specifically Canva's. AI. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to find anything that I can use here for this tutorial. So instead to show you something to work with, I'm just going to go to the element section and type in job and go to photos. And yeah, I'm just going to basically select a relevant photo here that I can use. How about desk? By the way, you'll find that many of Canva's elements are pro elements. So as a way or as an alternative to that, we can actually go ahead and use Pexels or Pixabay. Now, if you're wondering how I got them to my sidebar, um, I just basically went to apps and then I looked for Pexels and Pixabay. They're right over here. So I'm going to click on them and click Use. And what I love about these two is that they most of their elements are free. You don't have to purchase them or anything like that. 
So yeah, you'll also be able to find them on the side panel once you start using them so that you'll be able to access them much easier, easily in the next design or in your future designs. So as for me, I'm going to try to look for dusk over here. Or maybe work would be okay. And I'm going to drag it to this frame right here. And in case you'd like to adjust the placement of your photo, just double click and then resize it to your liking and then position it by dragging it into place. You can also use Smart Crop. It'll automatically align your photo for you, but I'd like to align my photo myself. So yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to click on done. Maybe I'm going to adjust it one more time. Yeah, much better. All right, so for the background, I think it's quite nice. Maybe we could change it to something. Let's try background here. How about this one? Replace. Oh, by the way, right click replace background I think it's too much how about this one we're gonna right click replace background and I think it looks nice so we're gonna go with that I'm just gonna delete these elements that I don't think I need and perhaps make this one a bit bigger and send it backward like that what if we turn this into white would it look good i think so we're just gonna have to replace the color of our texts first gonna replace it to black or maybe a dark blue Okay, we're going to change this to white now. I think it looks nice. And put that over here. Maybe we could make this text a bit bigger. I think blue and yellow look really good together. So I think I'm going to keep it that way. Perhaps we can copy the, um, let's try. Let's copy the, um, font and see if it looks good. So that's regular brush. Let's type in regular brush here. Oh, they're all capital letters. So I think we're going to have to edit that. Or we can just copy this or duplicate this. Align it to the middle and resize it. And change its color to yellow again. This one a bit smaller and put it here. Maybe we could add a shadow to it. So we're going to go to effects and lift for it to be easier to see. Yeah, I think that's much better. So we are hiring. I don't have any 
um, what do you call that, texts over here. So I'm just going to keep it that way, but feel free to replace these texts with your own. Requirements, so we have here, and then send your CV to this. All right, and I'm also going to show you an important thing. So this has an email over here. In case you'd like to like input or link, input or insert your link over here or hyperlink this specific text, you can click on control plus K on your keyboard. But if you're not going to be able to do that shortcut, then you can click on this text, click on this button and look for link and click on it. And here you'll be able to input your link. Say for example, Instagram.com. I don't have any sample websites, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to deal, do this or insert this as a sample. So we're going to hit enter and the link has been added. So when they click on this, especially when it's a PDF format, um, yeah, they'll be able to be redirected to the uh, page you want or to the website you want them to be taken to for easier access. But they can also just type this manually and search for it manually. So there you go. Uh, once you're done, it's time for you to download your design. So go to the share button above, click on download, select your specific file type. You can go for PNG. And if you're sharing this so that your link will become clickable as well, click on PDF standard. And when you choose PDF standard for your link to work, do not tick these checkboxes, just leave it as is and then download it. Uh, but say, for example, you'd like to save it as PNG, then you can also do that. You can adjust your download settings according to your preferences and select the uh, specific pages you'd like to be included. And then once you're done, click on download. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, we hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching. And we hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day.